Welcome to the Daily History Podcast. In today's journey, we'll traverse the dusty paths of the Silk Road, the ancient trade route that bridged continents and cultures. Uncover the stories of the people, goods, and ideas that traveled this path and shaped our world. Let's embark on this historic adventure together. As we begin our journey into the annals of history, let us cast our minds back to an age where the world was vast and uncharted, a time when the Silk Road stretched like a colossal dragon across the heart of Asia. Spanning thousands of miles, this network of trade routes connected the mighty empires of China in the east with the distant lands of Rome in the west. Envision the Silk Road, not merely as a physical path, but as the superhighway of antiquity. It was a melting pot of diverse cultures, a bustling artery pulsating with life, goods, and ideas. Established during the Han Dynasty around the 2nd century BCE, this expansive road linked the yellow dunes of China's Gobi Desert to the Mediterranean's azure waves, creating a bridge between civilizations that would stand the test of time. As the merchants and caravans set out on their perilous treks, laden with silk, spices, and precious metals, they also carried with them the seeds of cultural exchange. These intrepid souls were the authors of an ancient form of globalization, etching their stories upon the geography they traversed. Imagine the whispered conversations in caravanserai, the exchange of ideas in bustling bazaars, and the shared knowledge in scholarly circles that were fostered along this route. This is where cultures intermingled, where East met West, and where history was shaped. Weaving through the bustling markets of the Silk Road, a vibrant tapestry of commerce unfurled across the continent. Silk, as its name suggests, was among the most treasured and evocative of all goods. This delicate fabric, whose secrets were closely guarded by Chinese artisans, became a symbol of luxury and power far beyond its eastern origins. Alongside silk, aromatic spices such as cinnamon, cardamom, and black pepper made their way from India to enliven the palates of the world. But it wasn't just the luxury items that traversed these routes. Precious metals, including gold and silver, often exchanged hands, serving both as currency and commodity. Copper and iron, too, were traded extensively, feeding the appetite of empires for coinage and weaponry. The Silk Road was the conduit for a complex economy where goods, currencies, and barter systems intersected to facilitate trade over vast distances. In this symphony of trade, caravans and maritime vessels were the instruments, constantly evolving to meet the demands of the journey. The development of the camel saddle enabled caravans to carry heavier loads over the desert dunes, while advances in maritime technology saw the Tao with its latine sails glide across the Indian Ocean with the monsoon winds. As caravans moved and ships sailed, the Silk Road evolved. It was not merely a physical path, but also a dynamic network of interactions, a web that caught and transmitted not just goods, but ideas. Long before the concept of globalization took root, the Silk Road was an artery of cultural exchange. It nurtured the spread of languages, the mingling of arts, and the fusion of religions. The Bactrian camels carried more than just goods, they carried stories, philosophies, and dreams. Traders and travelers, like the legendary Marco Polo, were the messengers of this ancient world wide web, often inadvertently becoming ambassadors of culture. Persian miniatures, Indian numerals, and Chinese papermaking each journeyed along this vast network, seeding change and shaping the course of human civilization. When we think of the Silk Road, we should envision not just a marketplace, but a grand, continuous dialogue between the peoples of the world. The Silk Road thus fashioned a legacy far broader than commerce. It weaved together the destinies of empires, turning markets into meeting places for the curious and the bold. It was a place where trade and intellect danced together, leaving indelible marks on the canvas of world history. As we venture along the Silk Road, a route as much trodden by ideas as by laden camels and merchant caravans, we find ourselves amidst a cultural symphony. The Silk Road was not just a physical pathway for goods, it was a catalyst for the transmission of religions, philosophies, and languages. With each traveler's footstep, a new seed of thought was planted, ready to grow in the fertile soils of distant lands. Merchants and travelers were the unwitting messengers of this cerebral trade. They bartered not only in silk and spices, but also in stories and beliefs. 
Buddhism notably found new homes as it traveled from India through Central Asia and into China, leaving in its wake monasteries and a legacy of art and spiritual philosophy. We can trace a similar movement of ideas with Christianity, Islam, and many other religious and philosophical systems that were cradled and then dispersed across vast distances. Languages too mingled as abundantly as the bazaar's wares. Persian, Turkic dialects, and even strains of Greek and Latin were heard in the market squares of Samarkand and beyond. This potpourri of languages led to the rich linguistic tapestry of Central Asia, with modern tongues bearing the imprints of their ancestral travelers. Imagine the bustling caravanserai, where ideas would flow as freely as the wine poured to welcome weary travelers. Here the world was reshaped, one conversation at a time. Over the centuries, these exchanges have left an indelible mark on the world. Our contemporary societies, with their myriad beliefs, languages, and cultural practices, are mosaic testimonies to the exchanges that flourished on the Silk Road. Perhaps without knowing it, the dialogues, debates, and disseminations that took place on this ancient highway laid a foundation for the interconnected world we live in today. A world that continues to be shaped by the spirit of cultural exchange and curiosity that was the lifeblood of the Silk Road. This Silk Road's legacy is a powerful reminder of our shared human journey. As travelers continue to crisscross the globe, they follow in the footsteps of those ancient merchants and pilgrims, carrying forward the torch of cultural connectivity. As we ponder upon the modern Silk Roads being forged through technology and globalization, we might draw lessons from the past, finding in our history a compass to navigate the complexities of our present and future cultural landscapes. Venturing forth into the realm of splendor, we now delve into the urban jewels that adorned the Silk Road, serving as pivotal hubs between the East and the West. Three cities, Chang'an, Samarkand, and Constantinople, stood as testament to the grandeur and cultural melting pot that the Silk Road nurtured through centuries of trade and interchange. Let's unfold the tapestries of history and discover the unique characteristics of each of these cities as they thrived within this network of connectivity. Chang'an, known today as Xi'an, was the eastern terminus of the Silk Road and the capital of the Tang Dynasty in its golden age. Boasting grandiose walls and bustling markets, the city was a sophisticated maze of merchants, scholars, and caravans that arrived laden with goods from afar. As the imperial seat, Chang'an was a symbol of cultural and political authority, drawing traders and travelers eager to exchange luxurious silk, pungent spices, and gleaming jewels. During the Tang period, around the 7th to the 9th century, it emerged as one of the world's largest and most cosmopolitan centers, a luminous beacon where diverse cultures converged and flourished under imperial patronage. Crossing deserts and steppes, we reach the heart of Central Asia to Samarkand, an oasis of commerce and craftsmanship. Samarkand's strategic location made it a cradle of continuous cultural exchange for centuries, particularly under the rule of Tamerlane in the 14th century. Visibly splendid, the city's architecture featured gorgeous mosaics, majestic domes, and observatories that spoke of the blend of Persian, Indian, and Mongol influences. As traders passed through, they brought not only tangible goods, but also intangible wealth in the form of music, stories, and ideas that seeped into the city's essence. Samarkand was not just a trading hub, it was a crossroads where human ingenuity thrived. Our journey culminates in the vibrant Constantinople, the Byzantine Empire's crowning glory, and a city that straddled two continents. Renowned as the gateway between Europe and Asia, Constantinople attracted merchants from Venice, Genoa, and beyond. Its markets were legendary, brimming with exotic imports and Byzantine silks that symbolized both luxury and power. The city's strategic position allowed it to control and benefit from the lucrative maritime trade routes that complemented the overland Silk Road. Throughout its illustrious history, Constantinople exemplified resilience and richness, from its founding in 330 AD by Emperor Constantine to its transformation into Istanbul after the Ottoman conquest in 1453. The storied path of the Silk Road is also marked by the narratives of intrepid travelers who dared to venture beyond their horizons. Among them stood Marco Polo, the Venetian explorer whose chronicles captivated the imagination of Europe. 
In the late 13th century, Polo traversed these cities, among others, providing vivid accounts of their bustling markets, the opulent courts, and the diverse tapestry of life he observed. His writings encapsulate the essence of the Silk Road experience, a sensorial journey across complex terrains, shaped by the footprints of countless travelers, each with their tales and treasures. As we leave behind these cities of splendor, we carry with us the echoes of the past, where every alley and boulevard, market and mosque, whispered narratives of trade, culture, and human aspiration. These cities were crucibles, where humanity's shared story was molten and molded, bequeathing legacies that transcend time and continue to inform our interconnected world today. Venturing along the Silk Road was far from a leisurely stroll across continents. This portion of our journey takes us into the heart of the darkness that loomed over the trail, with perils lurking at every step. The traders and caravans that braved this extensive network of routes did so knowing full well that natural disasters, such as violent sandstorms and unforgiving winters, could erase their hard-earned progress in the blink of an eye. But the elements were not the only adversaries on these roads. Bandits and brigands were drawn to the wealth that passed through their territories like moths to a flame. The Taklamakan Desert, a veritable no-man's land nicknamed the Place of No Return, became the stage for many such tales of dismay. It was October 1274, when a caravan led by the Venetian explorer Marco Polo narrowly escaped the clutches of death, as a massive sandstorm concealed their path. It was their fortitude and unwavering spirit that pushed them through the blinding gales, reaffirming that force of will could outlast even the most treacherous of tempests. Yet, it was not all gloom under the shadow of challenge. There were tales that sparkled with fortune and serendipity. In 1219, a lesser-known merchant from Persia, whose name has been lost to the sands of time, stumbled upon a hidden path while evading a bandit ambush. This path, which would later come to be known as the Route of Serendipity, led to safe passages and fertile trading grounds, transforming the once desperate escape into a prosperous venture. Such were the dual faces of the Silk Road, where peril met opportunity and disaster led to innovation. Stories of resilience and endurance such as these, where traders and travelers overcame the daunting barriers of nature and man, continue to underscore the grit and determination of our ancestors. Their journeys, fraught with danger at every twist and turn, paved the way for the interconnected world we navigate today. As we consider the countless individuals who risked it all on the Silk Road, we come to better understand the depth of human tenacity and the immeasurable value of courage in the face of adversity. As our journey along the Silk Road draws closer to its contemporary horizons, we find ourselves amidst the echoes in the sand the legacy of this ancient network that once connected the farthest corners of the known world. The Silk Road was not just a series of caravan paths. It was a canvas where the geopolitical and cultural narratives of civilizations were painted. Today, we can trace the brushstrokes that have shaped our current global landscape, where economics, culture, and politics remain intertwined across continents. Throughout the annals of history, beginning as early as the second century BCE, the Silk Road facilitated not only the trade of silk and spices, but also served as a conduit for religion, art, and knowledge. The impact of these exchanges still resonates. Take, for example, the spread of Buddhism from India to China, or the introduction of the compass and papermaking to the West. These advancements are cornerstones upon which modern societies have been built. The Silk Road, in essence, laid the groundwork for the globalization we experience today. The rediscovery and preservation of the Silk Road have become a testament to human curiosity and scholarly endeavor. Archaeologists have unearthed relics along its length, from the deserts of Central Asia to the Mediterranean coasts, tangible remnants that offer a window into the past. The Tarim mummies in China, dating back to 1800 BCE, reveal a tapestry of multi-ethnic presence on the Silk Road, while the Dunhuang manuscripts, a cache of texts discovered in the Mogao Caves, illuminate the intellectual and spiritual exchanges that occurred. Scholarship, too, plays a pivotal role in preserving the Silk Road stories, analyzing caravanserai records, translating traveler diaries like those of the illustrious Marco Polo, 
or the records of the Chinese pilgrim Xuanzang. These narratives and records are invaluable in providing contemporary scholars and enthusiasts alike with insights into a bygone era of connectivity. As we speculate on the lessons the Silk Road has for our present world, it's the spirit of cultural exchange and resilience in the face of adversity that stands out. In our fast-paced, technology-driven world, the Silk Road serves as a reminder that connectivity and mutual understanding have always been fundamental to progress. One can argue that the digital age is our generation's Silk Road, opening frontiers we have yet to fully understand, much like the traders and travelers who first tread the pathways between East and West. Thank you for joining us on this historic voyage along the Silk Road. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the Daily History Podcast for more tales from the past. We invite you to comment below with suggestions for future topics. The one with the most likes will be strongly considered for an upcoming episode. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to bringing history to life together. Until next time, keep exploring the paths of history.